RC Channel. Just a freestyle. This one is a drop. Hit the pavement. I'm a one. Afro Dust, Afro Dust Racing. Pause. Every story has to start from somewhere. And my story started from Cape Town. I remember once I was heading to a farm. There was a lady who had a horse farm and also ostrich farm. Every time when I went to supply her goods or collect the money from her, I passed through a dirt bike truck and I would stop there and watch the bikes go up and down and people racing. So this was in the middle of nowhere. There are a lot of kids with their small dirt bikes and they would race. But one weekend when I went there, there were no dirt bikes and there were RC cars. So it was a whole community. They had their tents, they had everything, they had their branding, and they had these uh, RC cars that had uh, fuel, like nitro. And the things were moving like, and I think 80 kilometers per hour. And you know, I interacted with them and I asked them, what is it? And they were like, these are RC cars, they're remote controlled, uh, they drive fast. You know, this one uses nitro, you cannot start with this because it leads, needs a lot of maintenance. And this is a normal RC car, this is a crawler. So uh, every time I would catch them um, racing, or every time they had an event, I would be able to go and just interact and get to know what was going on. That's where my passion for RC started. But even before that, I grew up in an environment where we used to make cars out of wire and uh, we would drive them around the tea plantation in Tigoni. That idea of building things has always been instilled with me with my older brothers, uh, with my older brother and the neighbors and everyone was building something, whether it's a rabbit house or you know, just whatever you get your hands into or football. We are always busy with our hands. Hobbies have always been a big thing for me. And RC automatically fell onto me. Uh, hobby planes, you know, like with the World War II planes where you buy them and you cut them and you build them and paint them. That was so, it was very, it inclined to me very easily because also I was doing art. So the painting, the cutting, the gluing is also part of arts and craft. And now I started doing RC cars. I bought my first RC car. I think it was just a normal crawler for kids and I really enjoyed it and I could see what it could do but I knew it could do I, I could do more so it was just a good introduction but also with my son being born it gave me a, a, a thing something to bond something we could connect even if he was younger and he was in his early months or years we always had that interaction. And that uh, sort of bond, he was always there watching what I'm doing. And I think the best example as a parent is to teach through example. They can be able to observe what you're doing and then they emulate. So that being said, I, was, I, I, I do a lot of like car buildings and uh, model cars, drone building, robots and RC cars and planes. So some have failed, some have succeeded, some have gotten stuck on the tree and I've never been able to get them back. And one of them, I was flying in Abuja and just flew away. That one, I don't know whether it hit someone or whether it disappeared. I tried to trace it, could not find it. It just disappeared. So I've had my share, fair share of funny, funny moments. So there was one that was stuck on the tree and I, I had like this normal flip flops, like these ones. So I threw it all the way up and one shoe got stuck. So I threw the other shoe up and that shoe got stuck. Now I have to go back in the house and get another shoe and throw it to get everything down. So it's always fun to be able to do things like that and the excitement and the rush, especially when it comes to like drones and, uh, you know, uh, FPVs. Once you build it and it can move and do what you want uh, from the mind to, to an actual thing, then there's always an adrenaline rush to see it move and the excitement. I'm happy, I'm proud, I got the match out, but I'm not happy with it so much because of the of the sort of the stick around it. I wanted it to just have the logo. So I'm still learning and working, or, uh, trying to figure out what I'm going to do with it. Uh, let's say the merchandise, whether I just want a small uh, like font, like Afro dust, and I'll, you know, I'll figure it out as we go until to the point where I'll be like, okay guys, I've got the hats out, I've got the t-shirts the out, you can get them on this point or that point. So merchandise definitely will come eventually. Customized cars will come eventually. We have a couple of cars to build. We have a couple of drones to build. I'll take you through the process you'll be able to learn. Thank you for watching episode one and see you 
on the next episode. RC Channel. I'm no joke, you know, I'm no joke, no, I'm no joke, you know, I'm no haters gonna hate, I love to keep them motivated. Just a freestyle. This one is a drop, hit the pavement.